Hey guys, welcome back to Cronje, your final destination for all the latest tech and biz updates. This is Nupur and today we have another video where we are going to dig into pattern recognition at its deepest. But first, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then please hit the subscribe button over here for amazing content. Now, let's move on. So, what are patterns? Patterns are vector feature values that can be applied in order to recognize objects, processes and events. For example, the color of your clothes, the shape and size of various vegetables and other attributes that allow you to categorize and identify a particular object, process or event. Now let's move on to pattern recognition. For the human brain, Pattern recognition is the cognitive process that occurs in our brain which enables us to match certain information with the data stored in our memory. In the world of software, pattern recognition refers to the technology that uses machine learning algorithms to match incoming data with the ones stored in the various databases. But how does this technology pattern recognition works? Firstly, the technology gathers relevant information from various sources. Secondly, it removes noise and makes it suitable for algorithm analysis. Thirdly, it looks for similarities and patterns. Fourthly, it categorizes them into classes based on the findings. Fifthly, it analyzes the various classes and segments. Lastly, it applies the analysis according to the requirements. Now let's move on to the advantages of pattern recognition. Firstly, pattern recognitions help in resolving classification problems. Secondly, it resolves fake biometric detection. Thirdly, it can be used by visually impaired people for cloth pattern recognition. Fourthly, it aids in speaker derivation. Fifthly, using pattern recognition, we can identify objects from various angles and more. All the pattern recognition has a lot of advantages to talk about. It has disadvantages too. Some of them include, firstly, it is a complex approach to implement and it is a slow process. Secondly, it requires a large data set to receive accurate results. Thirdly, it often fails to provide a reason for identifying a particular object and much more. Learn more about the types and use cases of pattern recognition from our blog. The link to which is in the description box below. If you like this video, do hit the like button, comment as well as share the video. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to Cronje for amazing tech and biz content. If you want to implement pattern recognition for your business needs, then Cronje can surely help you with the best solutions in the most cost effective way. Contact us today to know more. So that was all for this video guys. See you in the next one.